Hello all, welcome back to the Blink IoT video series. In this fifth video, we'll see home automation with the ESP32 and Blink app. We'll be using physical switch, that is uh, micro switch, as well as uh, Blink app to control the relay board to which uh, the load is connected. We, we are using here four channel relay board, which is uh, low enabled, and it has got a uh, optocoupler to each circuit, so that when low is applied, the relay will be on. There is also a jumper, which has to be removed uh, that we'll uh, see in the due course of the video and each relay has got three pins one is the pole and the top one is the normally closed and the bottom one is the normally open to normally open we'll be connecting the load and to the pole we'll be connecting the neutral first let us check the uh, blink app settings open the blink app and uh, under new project provide a name to the project esp32 home automation choose the device as uh, esp32 development board and the connection type as wi-fi and then touch on create now an authentication token will be sent to your uh, registered email uh, we'll note on that and open the widget box and add two buttons uh, two buttons uh, let us add to uh, switch on and off each relay we'll be in this uh, demo we'll be using only two relays which can be extended to four touch on the first button uh, change the name to relay one and the output pin uh, select as uh, virtual pin v1 we'll be using virtual pin in this uh, demo so change the setting as uh, one one means off so we are using low enabled relay so one means off and zero means on and change the mode as switch it lacked as a switch and the design of font size uh, we can select the maximum and for the second button touch on the second button for the second button settings uh, change the name to relate to output uh, pin as virtual v2 virtual pin v2 and uh, logic as uh, off for off one on zero mode as switch so these two button settings are over now touch on play button it is uh, showing esp32 is uh, not on, on online now let us uh, do the wiring first and then come to the coding this is the four channel relay board we are using in this project there is a jumper on this board uh, remove this jumper while using a device like esp32 which is 3.3 volt device for raspberry Pi also same connection only you have to remove this jumper you will see two uh, connections that is jd vcc and vcc vcc should be connected to 3.3 volt and jd vcc should be connected to 5 volt the reason is this uh, opto coupler operated when opto input is low this 3.3 volt will uh, forward bias the opto which will enable the opto in turn which in turn will enable the transistor and then the uh, relay will get operated so a low enable uh, the 3.3 volt uh, difference voltage difference will not be there if you are using both the voltage so for each relay there will be an optocoupler and this is the correct method of using the uh, this relay board now let us connect the supply to the relay board vcc is connected to 3.3 volt and uh, jd vcc should be connected to uh, 5 volt for 5 volt we will be using the v in pin in latest boards of ESP32 and Node MCU, VIN can be used as a uh, 5 volt source. Uh, as such, it is an uh, input supply pin, but uh, while giving USB connection, you will get 5 volt at that pin. So, we can use that pin for 5 volt. Ground is connected to ground. We will use the bottom rail of uh, breadboard for ground. Now, let us connect the IN1 and IN2 pins. IN1 should go to D23, which is the digital pin 23. IN2 should go to digital pin D22. So, first relay is operated by D23 digital pin, and the other second relay is operated by D22 digital pin. This is the connection we have done. Uh, 
this relay board jumper we have removed so this is the correct form of uh, using this relay board while uh, connecting with the ESP32 now let us see the coding uh, we will go to the example uh, code generator site select the board as ESP32 connection as ESP uh, Wi-Fi and authorized token we will uh, copy it from our uh, uh, mail ID and then paste it here and select the sample uh, example code as get data we will be using get data we will modify this code so get data in this get data blink write function is there and then param dot asint uh, function will be used so let us see the code initially include statements are used wi-fi dot h wi-fi client dot h and blink simple esp 32 dot h these are all included by our code generator and then the authorization code also included which we got in the from our mail id and our ssid and password for the wi-fi also included and we use the uh, D23 for relay 1 and D22 for relay 2 that has to be declared using this define function we use the name relay pin 1 and relay pin 2 for relay 1 and 2 and initial status of the relay is uh, uh, indicated by this uh, variable relay state 1 and relay state 2 we make it as integer variable and uh, initially we make it as 1 and under uh, wide setup serial dot begin which we are not going to use and then blink dot begin here uh, the ssid and password is used for a wi-fi connection and authorization code is used to connect with the blink cloud and then we use the pin mode to make the relay pin says outputs both are outputs relay pin 1 and relay pin 2 and then we use the digital write uh, function to make the relay initial state of the relay as uh, one that means the relay will be off as it is low enabled the initially these uh, relays will be in off condition and inside while loop uh, there is blink dot run uh, no other code should be inside this uh, wide, lo wide loop this blink dot run will take care of the connection with the blink server and uh, we and there is the blink write function blink write v1 that is when there is a call from the virtual pin from app uh, that the capital letters function means it is called from app so that the change in the v1 virtual pin will reflect in this param dot as integer function that is widget to hardware which is assigned to a variable relay state and then digital write is used to uh, write the status of the relay similarly for uh, virtual pin 2 will uh, control the second relay here also blink underscore write is used blink uh, all caps means it is called from app and then blink underscore connected is used to update the uh, status of the from the server this is very important to update the status uh, of the app and the as well as the hardware now select the hardware as csp32 and select the port and then click upload do not forget to press the boot button while uploading the code otherwise code will not be uploaded on esp32 as soon as the code is uploaded you can just test it uh, now on the app it shows it is not online you can press the enable button once now the esp32 home automation is connected to server it is online now press on the play button now it shows uh, online ESP32 project is online now you can touch on the first button to control the first relay and the second button to control the second relay these two buttons will act as a switch uh, that is on off switch and uh, you can see when the uh, relay is on that uh, status changes to on on the app and uh, when it is off the status changes to off now let us pull out the power from the esp32 and uh, provide the power again let us see the condition uh, what happens to the app now the relay one is on relay two is off automatically when the power comes back the uh, app status also gets changed next we'll connect uh, physical switches micro switches to control the uh, relay so from app also we can control and from uh, uh, physical switch also we can control one end of uh, switch is connected to pulled high 
to 3.3 volt other end is connected to 3 uh, ground so the the pulled high pin is kind of given to the uh, digital pins of uh, esp32 now let us uh, connect this two switches to breadboard so one end is pulled high through resistor and the other end of the switch connected to ground so the first end where we have connected that resistor will be connected to the uh, digital pins of uh, esp32 for micro switch 1 we use digital pin d34 and for micro switch uh, 2 we use digital pin d35 it is only micro switch when you press it will go on when you release it will go off now let us uh, check up the code for this uh, uh, after including the micro switches so the switch pin is declared as d34 and d35 we use the uh, name defined as switch pin 1 and switch pin 2 and initially this uh, switches are pulled high through resistor so we use a status uh, with a status variable to make it as high initially that relay pins uh, relay status we also made it as high which means relay is off and the switch state also we make it as high and then we use the blink timer uh, uh, blink timer class to create uh, object timer as we are going to mix the code get data code and push data code in push data code this uh, timer is very essential now let us see the setup uh, function inside this this blink dot begin is there and then uh, pin mode is used to make relay as outputs and switches as inputs and we make uh, use digital write to write the initial status of the relays uh, that is one which means uh, the relay is of the relay status is initially we have made it as high as the relay board we are using is uh, low enabled it will be off and then inside while loop we use blink dot run as well as timer dot run timer dot run is very important inside loop and uh, as we are using this blink timer object these two functions should be inside the loop and uh, in setup we have timer dot set interval this uh, set interval function takes two parameters one is the uh, 500 l which means 500 millisecond and second is the scan switch function so every 500 millisecond this uh, it will call the scan switch function inside this function we use a uh, integer variable read switch to read the status of the switch first switch as well as the second switch we have two switches uh, in this demo so both the status is uh, assigned to the integer variable read switch 1 and uh, read switch 2 and then we use the if condition and test for the variable for whether it is low and then the status of the switch status is high if both condition are true then we'll toggle the relay status so initially the switch state is high so that will be one so if switch is pressed this uh, uh, toggle will this relay state will toggle and then we use the digital write function to write that uh, status of the relay and inside that uh, another uh, blink dot virtual write is used to uh, and it use, uses the virtual pin v1 to update the uh, status on the app similarly we do it for the second uh, switch we use the variable read switch uh, 2 and inside that we use the blink dot virtual write v2 and the relay status 2 suppose you want for uh, the third and fourth relay you can just uh, uh, make an integer variable to read switch 3 and then copy this code for three and fourth relay and then we have the blink underscore write functions for virtual pin v1 and v2 and then the blink underscore uh, connected function has a sync virtual function which uh, syncs the uh, v1 and v2 status on the app now let us upload the code do not forget to press the boot button while uploading the code once it is uploaded you can just uh, verify whether it, uh, the app is online and then test the status of the relays touch on the first button the relay first uh, will be on and the second button will op uh, control the second relay now let us uh, control it from the switches press the first switch the relay first will be on press the second switch 
द रिले सेकेंड रिले विल बी ऑन वन प्रेस फॉर ऑन एंड वन प्रेस फॉर ऑफ यू कैन सी ऑन द ऐप ऑल्सो द स्टेटस इज अपडेटेड एंड इन द रियल टाइम वेन यू प्रेस द इन द नियर द हार्डवेयर स्विचेस द ऐप स्विच ऑल्सो चेंजेस दैट इज अपडेटेड थ्रू द वर्चुअल पिन्स वी वन एंड वी टू सो द स्विचेस ऑपरेट इंडिपेंडेंटली ऑफ द हैप द रिले कैन बी कंट्रोल फ्रॉम द ऐप एज वेल एज फ्रॉम द स्विचेस now let us uh, just pull out the power from the esp32 previously you make the relay 1 on and the relay 2 off from the app now remove the power from esp32 and then provide it back connect it back wait for some time uh, till that uh, that is connected to the blink server now you can see the status is being updated on the hardware the app status is uh, first relay on second relay off the app status is updated in real time now let us uh, see the actual load connection let us connect a bulb to relay 1 this bulb has got uh, two wires one is connected to phase and another one is connected to neutral now let us see how to connect it to the relay board the relay board uh, has got each relay has got three pins center pin is the pole the top one is nc which is normally closed and the third pin bottom pin is the normally open so nc normally closed we are not going to use we are going to use the pole and the no normally open uh, the center pin is the pole connect a wire to that center pin and then that wire goes to the neutral of the ac Uh, after final connection only we will be connect connecting this so it goes to the neutral of the ac the bulb has got two wires that is one wire connect goes to the normally open the other end goes to the face so when the relay con operates the con through the contact the neutral will reach the load other other end of the load is uh, connected to face already you can do it otherwise also Uh, this side face and that side neutral also if you are using three pin wire uh, there will be no confusion but uh, while using two pin wires the phase and neutral may interchange so finally you get uh, phase and neutral wire and in between the load is connected as seen in this diagram that is one end of the load goes to no other end of the load directly to face the center pole pin is connected to neutral once you give ac power to the relay board never touch the relay board as it uh, as there is a risk of uh, uh, ac shock so be cautious once you give the power now you can test the uh, uh, project by, from the app as well as from the micro switch from app you can also control the uh, relay on off uh, this operating the bulb you can control it by the switch also first switch if you press once it will go on S second time it will go off so the actual status is updated on app also in real time thank you for watching